Hello Aries, I hope you're doing great. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Aries, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Let's do this. Universe, please step in. Show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries, for Aries' highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? This one wants to show up as extra message. Very important. Oh, you're not reaching out to your soulmate. No, you're not reaching out to them. Yeah, you feel and are expecting apology from this person. You feel like they owe you explanation and apologies for their behavior. Whatever it is they did, you are not reaching out to them. No, you're stopping yourself from reaching out. And you're waiting for apologies. You feel hurt. You feel betrayed. Yeah, look at this. Page, page, page. This one is reversed. This is unexpected communication, but it's reversed. It's like you sometimes feel um, like you need to uh, reach out to them to uh, tell them more of what you feel, but you feel it's pointless that they need to be the ones extending the olive branch to you, making amends with you, apologizing to you. Yeah, this is you trying to figure out how to handle them, what where to place them in your life. You're trying to figure out, do you forgive them? Do you just move on without them? Yeah. Let's see your subconscious position. You're tired of waiting because seven of pentacles is reversed. You're tired of waiting, of babysitting this relationship. You don't want to do it anymore. A lot of you are letting go of Taurus. Let's see. Universe, please show us. Wow. Universe, please show us. I'm sorry you're going through so much. Also, Pisces popping up here. Hmm. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey. I don't know why this is supposed to be extra. I don't do extras from small tarot deck, but this wants to be extra message over here. Ugh, look how disappointed you are in this person. Yeah, this is my least favorite night, night of wands. I call it player energy. Someone who is used to playing mind games coming and going as they please without accountability for their behavior, doesn't express emotions, doesn't listen, doesn't tell you where you stand, doesn't commit. You're tired. You don't want to deal with someone who acts so irresponsibly in your life. Yeah. You respect yourself too much to put up with this kind of wishy-washy behavior. Yeah. You don't find this kind of behavior acceptable in your life. They're very stubborn and you view them this way. Uh, this person has very hard time expressing emotions, showing emotional vulnerability, making a commitment. They very much set in their ways. They can be ego driven. Yeah. Impulsive in relationships, uh, doing things without thinking things through. Um, hmm, they like to be alpha in charge. They like to come and go as they please without explanation. They're showing up as cold emotionally towards you, even though they feel emotions, um, they don't like to show them, you see, and they don't communicate with you effectively because the Ace of Swords they're holding as a King of Swords, which happens to be my least favorite King of all Kings, is pointing down, not up. Oh, yeah, there was something that happened between you two because the tower moment is showing up here. Breakup is showing up between you two. Wow. Yeah, you feel like you really need to clear the air with them and tell them what time it is. 
uh, but you're holding back right now. Uh oh, I don't like this. No, no, no. Mm -mm. The devil right above the emperor card, their energy. This person brought you toxicity into your life. Yeah, you have every valid reason to feel upset, betrayed. Yeah, you're not exaggerating. You're not imagining. Yeah, you have very valid reasons to feel betrayed, disrespected. Yeah. This is you trying to figure out how to react to this situation emotionally from your emotional standpoint so you're not feeling uh, heartbroken because you clearly see that this person is at fault. You see it. You're not imagining. Your energy is beautiful, Aries. You are of high quality. You have to be very picky with people. Picky, selective, never lower your standards for anyone because you are of high quality in all sorts of relationships, not just romantic. So you need to keep those standards high. Yeah. You should not chase this person. No, you already know you shouldn't be chasing them. Uh, you see this energy? Yeah. Let's see the extra card. Look how beautiful your energy is. You are a true empress. So they pretend to be an emperor, but they are just a knight of wands, the worst knight of all knights. You are a fabulous empress. You don't pretend to be an empress. You are an empress, meaning someone of very high quality, whether you male or female. How beautiful is this? And guess what? The, rec the universe recognizes this. You see this? Yeah, the universe doesn't sugarcoat in these readings. Yeah, they don't sugarcoat. They tell it like it is. Universe, please show us. I love speaking the truth. Yeah. Universe, please show us. Hmm. Very interesting reading. What's coming up for Aries and how is Aries currently doing? You feel like you're wasting your time on this person. Look how psychic you are. Look how intuitive you are. Very aware of what's going on around you. So you need to listen to that intuition of yours because it's correct. You read people well. You read energy, behavior, mannerism, body language, eye contact very well. People can't lie to you that easily. You sense when someone is trying to betray you or lie to you or manipulate you or use you. Yeah, you need to listen to that intuition. So there's something else in that person's life that you're not aware of, that they holding back. Maybe they feel embarrassed. Whatever the reason is, you're not aware of everything uh, that this person is dealing with in their life. Yeah, you're not taking action right now, but you're not putting your life on hold for this person anymore. You're not waiting by the phone. You're moving on with your life. Yeah, you see there's a snake underneath the lovers and it's right above the moon uh, card, which shows that there's something you're not aware of about that person that you're letting go of. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries that Aries <coughs> is letting go of at this time. And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time, especially emotionally? The soulmate that showed up as Knight of Wands pretending to be an emperor. It was to show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries. Wow, they're missing you. Yeah, this person loves you a lot, but they need to show that love. Yeah, they need to show it, express it, verbalize it, right? They're so worried you're going to be with somebody else because they re recognize your worth value, that you are high vibrational empress energy, someone of high quality, high standards. New soulmate popping up in your life. This is you taking care of yourself, not chasing that person that you're letting go of at this time. Uh, your back is turned towards the new soulmate. So you either haven't met them yet or if you met them already, you're not aware of their interest in you. I love King of Pentacles energy. Wow, the soulmate you're letting go of realizes your worth value, how much you mean to them. Yeah, they want to come towards you with some kind of emotional offer, gesture. 
they want to return to you with some kind of emotional offer. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries that Aries is letting go of at this time. Yeah, they don't want to lose you, but you see Snake is showing up underneath. They're so worried that you're going to reject them, tell them no, won't listen to what they have to say to you. I love the new soulmate energy. I do. The new soulmate, King of Pentacles, my favorite king with two of cups wow what a beautiful energy this new soulmate possesses they very mature on top of that wow this person that you're letting go of feels that you are the one they they have to lose you to realize that that you are of high quality value they used to toxic relationships with toxic people who put up with the wishy-washy behavior you're not toxic you respect yourself too much to find this behavior of theirs acceptable yeah they realize how much you mean to them they had to lose you to finally wake up yeah they uh, they don't know how to communicate effectively they play mind games they give silent treatments that's not a good sign yeah they're not communicating right now. This is them looking at everything more objectively, trying to figure out how to fix this if it's not too late. Yeah, they worried because they view you as very intuitive, wise, analytical, strategic. They know that they can't just come back to you with empty words and promises that uh, you're going to hold them accountable for their behavior. Yeah. You don't know how badly they wish to reconcile with your judgment on top of the world. This person absolutely needed to lose you to wake up, to finally smell the coffee, smell the roses, to see how good they had it, but didn't recognize it when they had it. Yeah. Wow. I love the new soulmate. Universe, please show us. Yeah. They're very guarded. The person that wants to return to you is extremely guarded emotionally. It's hard for them to communicate effectively, express emotions. That's going to have to change if they want a solid relationship in their life. Universe, please show us. Yeah. Wow. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries. Oof. Look how scared they are. Petrified is more like it of your rejection, judgment. They're panicking right now. They realize they're losing you. Your behavior has changed. You're not chasing them. You're not desperate for their attention. They worried. They also feel blocked. So some of you block this person. Yeah. They worried because they view you as very intuitive, wise, aware. They know they can't just come back with empty promises and uh, pretty words that you're not going to believe them that easily. Yeah, you see, they realize that they need to change something to gain your trust again. Yeah, be careful because this person knows how to pull on your heartstrings, feelings, emotions, uh, and other people's as well. Um, they're going to have to do much more than just apologize and give you a peace offering. This person needs to learn how to gain your trust through consistent actions in your life they can't just come back knock on your door and say aries i want to come back that's not good enough no they need to prove themselves to you through consistency in actions be present in your life right communicate effectively listen express emotions act maturely right all of that otherwise there is no more aries in their life yeah aries we're gonna go into your extended reading obviously we're going to ask about this person but also new soulmate popping up in your life that i love as king of pentacles with two of cups beautiful first however we're going to ask about this soulmate's true genuine long-term intentions and plans for you at this time what are they planning long term then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle 
this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life the king of pentacles energy with two of cups new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so Aries, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys